Good morning, and thank you for joining a Facebook Live presentation by Bluka, part of the Watts Water Technologies Group. My name is Mark Hayden. I am the Northeast Regional Manager for Bluka, which is a division of Watts Water Technologies that specializes in stainless steel drains and pipes. We're just one of many world-class solutions and products offered under the Watts umbrella. This is the fifth in a series of Bluka Facebook Live presentations. And if you miss the others, please check them out on our Facebook page or the Blue Can North America YouTube page. Today I wanted to take 15 minutes and look at sanitary design in the food and beverage processing environment. This is a huge market with a total value of about uh, $700 billion annually for the US. And while hygienic or sanitary design is becoming a common term throughout the industry, it is still most often used in association with food equipment and food contact surfaces. And while that's a great starting place for improving food safety, it's a terrible place to stop. And I wanted to discuss why. So firstly, let's look at what is meant by sanitary or hygienic design. And the simplest way I could do that was to grab a couple of quotes from one of the many online articles. The first is from a 2011 article in Food Safety Magazine entitled Sanitary Design, a Competitive Advantage. It states, sanitary design is the application of design techniques that allow the timely and effective cleaning of the entire manufacturing asset. So in a nutshell, that means it needs to be easy to clean. The second quote is from an item published by the Foundation for Meat and Poultry, quoting one of their 10 principles of sanitary design. In fact, it's their first principle, um, cleanable to a microscopic level. The equipment should be designed as to prevent bacterial ingress, survival, growth, and reproduction on both product and non-product contact surfaces of the equipment. So while this is specifically talking about uh, food equipment, importantly, it discusses the need to be more than just visibly clean. We're talking about eliminating bacteria and pathogens at a microscopic level and trying to prevent the, eliminate, uh, the formation of biofilm. Biofilm is a cluster of pathogens or cells that group together on a surface and make it much harder to remove. So if we know what sanitary design is, why does it matter? Well, food recalls are frequently in the news and every year food contamination and foodborne illnesses impact millions of American lives and sadly take far too many. In addition to severely affecting the health of the consumer, these incidents also have a huge impact on the businesses and food products uh, producers. Negative publicity can cause devastating damage to a brand's reputation and public image. Recently, we've had uh, headlines about romaine lettuce. There have been multiple multi-state recall on eggs. And just this year, we've had a listeria outbreak associated with mushrooms that hospitalized 36 people and took four lives. Um, further back, we can all remember Chipotle and probably Bluebell ice cream as well as examples that spring to mind. Each of these incidents has a massive economic burden. Uh, there's lawsuits, there's production downtime, costly repairs to the facilities and facility overhauls. Uh, you have lost revenue and obviously you, you lose customers whose confidence can take years to return. The Center for Disease Control estimates that nearly 48 million Americans will be struck by some form of foodborne illness every year. Uh, that'll result in some 128,000 hospitalizations and sadly nearly 3,000 deaths will occur. Ohio State has done uh, a number of uh, studies to calculate the financial burden and the economic impact of these outbreaks. The latest from 2015 indicated a $93 billion annual cost to the industry for these foodborne illnesses and recalls. That's a staggering number. Um, individual companies have done analysis on the 
uh, food recalls and estimated that each recall has an average cost of about $10 million. The one in five, 18% of them will carry a cost somewhere between 30 and $100 million. And one in 20 will result in a financial burden of over $100 million. So there's a lot of incentive to improve food safety. So unsurprisingly, there are a large number of organizations, codes and standards associated with food and beverage facilities. Many of the most prominent ones are shown here. They all provide some form of information on best practice. A lot of them have recommendations for improving food safety. And there's a large emphasis on reducing food contamination and the risk of foodborne illnesses. The challenge has been made even greater as consumers were all looking for healthier, fresher produce. With less, or in some cases, no preservatives, and with less heat treatment, it increases the challenge to keep the consumer safe from foodborne illnesses. And it increases the potential impact and consequences of food contamination when things do go wrong, and they go wrong all the time. Partly in response to these changing global trends, the Food Safety Modernization Act was introduced in 2011. That's the top item on this list. It was the most sweeping reform of our food safety laws in more than 70 years. And a significant emphasis of the legislation is risk-based preventative controls. Instead of simply reacting after an incident, there is now a legal requirement for food producers to assess and prevent foreseeable problems. This is an important shift and focus from responding to contamination to trying to prevent it. So where do drains fit in? Well, to thrive, pathogens require food, nutrients and temperature. Everything you can conveniently find in your one-stop shop, your drain. And while we want to imagine a sanitary production environment that's easy to clean with uh, hygienically designed equipment, walls, floors and drains that are all easy to clean and maintain, made from appropriate materials, the reality is that still most of the attention is given to food contact surfaces and food equipment. Floors and drains are so often overlooked, out of sight, out of mind, and they end up looking like some of these images that are all from food facilities. Drains like this are common in a food facility and they represent elevated and unnecessary ongoing operational costs due to the added cleaning and maintenance needs that they have. Additionally, they all represent a potential source of contamination. They all represent risk. I'm sure it's not going to surprise anyone to hear that the most common source of positive screenings in a food and beverage plant is the floor and more specifically the drain. So looking at the sanitation of your process environment, you're going to be as strong as your weakest link. If that's the drain, let's see how we can make them better. This is an article from Food Quality and Safety uh, magazine in 2017. It really reinforces the problem of unhygienic drains being a source of contamination in the process environment. It describes how listeria and other pathogens present in drainage systems can so easily reach food and food contact surfaces. Whether that's carried on someone's shoe and transferred into a food preparation area or more directly onto food items if someone picks up a dropped object from the floor. You have pests like fruit flies and drain flies or even cockroaches that have the potential to spread pathogens from the drains to any area of the facility. And lastly, this article discusses how drain cleaning practices can so easily facilitate the spread of listeria, whether it's through the incorrect scrubbing action with brushes and pads, which can introduce droplets from inside the drain into the facility environment, or worse yet, using a pressure washer which can create an aerosol, atomizing what's in the drain and spreading it throughout the environment, contaminating whatever and wherever it lands. So what does a hygienically designed 
drainage solution looked like. Based on 50 years experience in stainless steel production, Bluke has taken up the challenge and designed the Hygienic Pro drainage system, specifically for the stringent demands of modern food and beverage facilities, and it addresses the need for an easy to clean solution right down to a microbiological level. It's constructed of corrosion and biofilm resistant stainless steel that tolerates high temperature cleaning, steam disinfection and the harsh cleaning chemicals found in these environments. It has rounded corners to reduce the risk of joint deterioration and cracks in surrounding floor finish. When you see cracking and failures around floor drains and trench drains, it normally starts at the corner on the 90 degree ends of the channels. This is because of the stresses introduced through thermal expansion and contraction, and you have a sharp stress point at that location. The Hygienic Pro has a unique channel cross section that efficiently evacuates water and solids with minimal flow requirements. It reduces the amount of debris built up in the trench and it reduces the amount of water usage you need to clean it. The grating is a one piece cast stainless unit, has open sides, has rounded corners and no cavities or niches or metal on metal contact, which are classic harborage points in nearly all other grate designs. And the Hygienic Pro also has the most effective anchoring system of any drainage product, securing it to the surrounding concrete slab, minimizing the risk of deformation, cracking or separation from the surrounding concrete and the floor finish, which is another uh, potential failure point when you see these uh, units in operation. Finally, based on industry feedback, we have a high capacity filter basket to try and reduce production downtimes and the need to empty clogged filter baskets. With so much at stake for food, uh, food producers and consumers, it really makes too much sense to incorporate a drainage solution that meets the same high standards applied to food equipment and food contact surfaces. And that's exactly what you get with the Hygienic Pro. Our product is certified to this NSF 3A ANSI standard that is written for food equipment and food contact surfaces. To quickly summarize, hygienically designed equipment, including the drainage system, offer many benefits. Obviously, the most important of which is helping to protect cons consumer welfare and brand reputation. Sanitary design increases food safety through reduced harborage, ease of cleaning, and reducing the risk of food contamination. They also help with regulatory and HACCP compliance. In addition to this, investing in hygienically designed products also lead to long-term cost savings and increased operational efficiency for the client. Run times are extended, cleaning times are shortened, and water usage and cleaning chemicals are reduced. Saving money, reducing risk, increasing food safety. I'd say that's a win-win scenario for everyone. Thank you for your time today. Uh, there's so many details that I could talk about um, with regard to sanitary design, but impossible to cover everything in these brief 15 minutes. If you'd like to learn more about Bluka or any of the other watch products, please contact your local area representative. Thank you so much for your time today, and I hope uh, you gained something from this presentation. Goodbye.